guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine, and in this video, we are gonna be looking at one of Yelp's APIs using Postman and the curl command. Let's get started. To start off, we're gonna take a look at some of Yelp's APIs. If you don't know what an API is and wanna learn more, be sure to check out my What is an API video linked down below. Right now, I'm at the yelp.com slash developers page, and we are gonna be clicking on Yelp Fusion so we can see some of the APIs available to us. And we are gonna click on documentation, again, trying to see what we can actually use from Yelp, what access we have to Yelp's data, that sort of thing. Now, there's a lot of things we can do here. We can search for businesses, see reviews, look up a business by phone number, and look up and search for events. But in this case, we're gonna to try to look up businesses in Chelsea, which is a neighborhood in Manhattan. To do that, we're gonna be using the search endpoint here. So if I click search, here we have slash businesses slash search. Here's an example request. Here are the parameters we can have. This looks good. However, before using this API, we're gonna to need to get an API key. If you aren't sure what an API key is, check out the What is an API key video linked down below. To get that key, we're gonna need to create a developer account. Once you have your account created, you should be able to create an app, and once you have your app, you can go to Manage App, and this is where you're gonna see an API key. You may see my API key, the actual value, is blocked or whited out, and that's because it's linked to my application, so it's gonna remain hidden. Now we are gonna try calling the business search API using Postman, which is a program that's gonna allow us to test that API. So if we go ahead and open a new tab here, and then look for the business search endpoints, this is where we were earlier, and this is the API we wanna test. So now I'm gonna open up Postman, and if you don't have Postman, the link to install is down below, it's just an application that you can use on your computer here. And again, it's gonna allow us to test this API, make that call, create a request to send to Yelp, and then also be able to retrieve that response. And so when you open it up, it should look something like this. And this can look pretty intimidating, but I'm gonna walk you through it. Up here, we can select what type of request we wanna send. So is it a Git request or a post request? a delete request, there are a lot of different types of requests you can do. In this case, it's gonna be a get because we wanna get businesses that are in the neighborhood Chelsea in Manhattan. We're requesting information, we're asking for information, we're getting the information. For the request URL, we're just gonna grab um, the request URL here and notice it has get for like the type of request. We're gonna go ahead and copy that, put it into Postman, that's our request URL, that's our endpoints. And then we have params. This is where you would put in your parameters or the things you wanna give the API in order for it to find the information you need. So if I go back here, I can see, okay, what parameters are required, what, which are optional, you know, what information do I have to actually give the API so that it can give its appropriate information back to me. Well, what is required? So here, location string required if either longitude or latitude is not provided, or you can do latitude and longitude are both required if the location is not provided. In this case, since we can have the location be like an address or a neighborhood or a zip code, that's the type of parameter that we're gonna wanna put in because we just wanna put in Chelsea, New York, and it be able to find the businesses we want. So going back here to Postman, the key for our parameter is gonna be location. And that's because here, the name of our parameter should be location. And then the value for that is gonna be Chelsea and then New York. And there we go. Are we done? Well, let's try sending this in. If we say send, it's gonna send the request here it says token missing, an access token must be supplied in order to use this endpoint. This means we're missing our API key. We gotta have the API key in order to use the Yelp API. But how do we add the API key into this? Well, this is where authorization and headers and all this type of stuff comes in. In this case, I'm gonna choose bear token. 
And this would be where I would put my API key. I'm gonna grab it and paste it in here. Now it's pasted and I have my token ready. Now I should be able to send a request and we'll see what the response is here below. And there we go. Here we have all the businesses that are near Chelsea, New York that Yelp has. We have the High Line, which makes sense because the High Line is near Chelsea. We have the Donut Plant, Donut Plant. And then we also have Brooklyn and Bagel. And with this goes on and on and on. We have all of these different businesses near Chelsea, New York. Now, what type of information do we have about each of these businesses? Well, we have Yelp's ID for them. We have the image URL. So if I go ahead and click this, we get this image here in the console. And that's the image that is probably on the Highline New York's Yelp page. We can also look at the specific review. We can have access to that. So if I go ahead and click on this, let's see what happens. And you might, in basically what Postman is doing is it's opening these other tabs. And so I have all of these different types of requests. We'll hit send here to send this. And let's see what we get back. And in this case, we get back all of the text that would be on that web page. We get all of this stuff. So if I go to this actual page, we get all of the source code, if you will. So if I go to this page, I'm going to find the actual Yelp page that this was based on. We can also see if it's closed, the review count, different categories that this business is associated with, its actual location, its address. We get a bunch of information about each individual business that's near Chelsea but we don't get the actual reviews. Let's say we wanted to find out what the actual reviews were for the Highline or for the donut plant, like donut plant, sure, let's find out what the reviews are for that. Well, we can use a different Yelp API. So if I take this away, we go back to our business search. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, reviews, here we go. Here we have reviews, so we have, you know, slash businesses, slash an ID, slash reviews. Here we go. This is the endpoint that we were talking about earlier. Here's an example response. We get a bunch of information about what the response contains. All looking good. And here, no parameters are required. But we are going to need the ID of the business that we want to get reviews for. Going back to Postman. We can see Donut Plant has the ID donut-plant-new-new-york-2. That would be our ID in this endpoint. So let's go ahead and copy this endpoint, go back to Postman, add a new tab here, put in the request URL, put in the ID, which will be Donut Plant New York 2. We'll put that in here send it out. We're probably going to get an error because we don't have the API key in it and we do. So we got to grab the API key from the other request as well. And you also might have noticed that in the headers we have that authorization header. And so in this headers tab we have the key authorization and then the bearer token. This is automatically created when we add the authorization here in the other tab. We just create that header. It does it for us. Postman does a lot of stuff for us, so we don't have to worry about it, and we can just worry about the data going back and forth. So let's go ahead and put this bear token in, and it's already there, and so we should be good. We're gonna go ahead and send, and now we have these reviews. And so this case, one review is, first time I've ever been to Donut Plant, I was actually on my way to the movies, or Sinopolis, when I saw this place and decided to stop by. Their menu is pretty, blah, 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 blah. Five star rating, great. And they have images too. And so we get all of this information about this one review. We keep scrolling down. We see, oh, here's another review, great. And that's it. So there's three total reviews here. That seems kind of short. Why is that? Let's go back to the API and see what the response is. Okay, so the example response also only has three. Maybe it's somewhere in here. This endpoint returns up to three reviews. Why would they do that? 
Well, they don't want you to replace Yelp. Like, because if you could just, if you could find all of the businesses in your area and find all of the reviews, you could essentially create your own Yelp. Okay, well, if you can't have access to everything, then why would you even use this API? Why is it useful? Well, let's say I was the owner of the donut plant and I have a website for my business. With this API, I could link and display up to three reviews from Yelp on my website, or I could just link the fact that I have a Yelp page and I don't even need the APIs. If we go back to Postman, the response here, it's just text. How do you connect it to your website code or to your app code or to wherever you wanna connect it to? Well, there's this fancy code button we can click. So if we go back, if you're in authorization or headers or whatever tab, if you click code over here, we can translate this API call into many different languages and frameworks. And so you can think Node.js, we've got Java, we've got Go, we have C Sharp, we've got Python, and we have curl, which we were talking about earlier. So if I go to curl, great. If I go ahead and copy this, and some of this again might be blanked out because of my API key, because it has authorization, colon, bearer, and then my token. But if you pulled it up on your side, you would have this full call and you could just copy it and paste it into your terminal. So remember the curl command, it allows us to send data to and from servers and call APIs essentially. So if I paste this here, hit enter, I get all of this data and it's right here in my terminal. If you aren't sure what the terminal is and don't really know what I just brought up and did, I have a ton of tutorials linked down below, so be sure to check those out. For now, let's go back to Postman. And here, again, I can click any of these languages and be able to call this exact call in that language. So let's say I chose Java. Here's how you could make a Java request. Or if I chose HTTP, there you go, there's another one. Or if I chose C Sharp, here you go. I can definitely make a video about implementing an API call in one of these languages and where exactly this piece of code or a different piece of code would go in your overall program. Just leave a comment down below on what you wanna see. That's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want more technical tutorials. I have some behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram if you wanna follow, and there's some freebies in the description box down below. I hope you learned something in this video and thank you for watching. Happy coding.